Hello everybody, I'm Richard. And I'm Jace. And we're bringing Battle War Gaming. So, Jace, a special Battle Report today in honour of our interview podcast with Andy Chambers, which is on Spotify under Bring and Battle War Gaming. Yeah. We'll apologise now for the audio. We'll get there in the end. <laughs> Andy, you can hear us clear as bell. Where we're... <laughs> well, it's a bit weird because we did this, this set so I'm set up as we did last time. Yeah, we're right on top of the mic as yeah. well, but then yeah. I'm all bummed up as well, so it didn't help. So um, thanks to those that have listened so far. If you haven't, go and, go and check it out. So we asked Andy at the time, um, told him what armies we had via an email, and he decided to pick the forces we were going to use today. Yeah. And he went for... Well, he wanted Blood Angels, but we don't have Blood Angels. We have their more vicious cousins and the dirty, nasty ones called... Flesh Terrors. Flesh Terrors. And the Flesh Terrors are going against the Eldar. So a classic a little punch up here. Pointy eared little freaks. You, you pointy eared freaks, you can call them what they want. They had it all in the palm of their hand. And they lost it. And they lost it. Yeah, so there you go. So the Eldar versus the Angels of Death Codex, represented by the Flesh Terrors. Um, we were going to go for 1,500 points, then I got a text. It's 2,000, isn't it? Well, we thought it was going to make it to do a special. Might as well yeah, yeah. A so bit. it's a special game. Uh, and we've got war gear, so this isn't part of our Codex War no. Games where we're not having any war gear where we've got to earn that. This is a full-on, straight-up, punch-up game. Uh, so like, it's, a, it's a kind of a thank you to Andy Chambers for doing the interview and to all that were involved in the second edition yeah. uh, period. So you've got Jervis Johnson... Um, Jess Goodwin, obviously, for Father of the Eldar. You've got other ones like William King, wasn't it? The, yes, the, yeah. the writer. And Rick Pritchley, of course, the, who came up with 40k. And all other guys that Andy did mention. So what we're going to do, without further ado, um, what I'm hoping to do, we don't know what stratagems we've got. I don't know what psychic powers Jason's got. We are going to film the armies. <clears throat> Hopefully, between filming the armies and the battle, I'll have some photos come up of our strategy cards yeah. and psychic powers. Ambitions. We're keeping it a secret, as some of you have asked us to do. Yeah. So I don't know what Jace has got. He doesn't know what I got. It's all going to go wrong, <laughs> uh, and we'll blame Andy Chambers. <laughs> <laughs> so I'm mean, just coming up, guys. Uh, see you then. Okay, so here's my army. Uh, Two thousand points of Eldar. We have a contingent of Harlequins. Five of them have got chain swords. Five have got power swords. And they've all got LAS pistols, no refractor fields or anything, just the hollow fields. And right at the back there, we do have a great Harlequin. I'll apologise for the painting of these models because they were done when they first came out back in 88, something like that. Uh, we then have a weapons battery of two LAS cannons, one sort of brand new one there, one old school, and they're hidden at the moment. We then have some guardians with shuriken catapults behind them. We've got five fire dragons. Coming across the meat of my force, we've got two units of seven Dire Avengers, backed up by an Exarch. Looks like he's from the Dire Avengers shrine as well. Behind them, as a, as a blocking unit, we have five girls, the Banshees, and then we have a level four Farseer there. Like I say, the photos will come up with the uh, Psychic Pass, we have a unit or squadron of two Vipers because they're under 100 points each. I've got a four moon and two unit. And we have a War Walker hidden behind that as well. We'll do the terrain wrap up in a sec. We have a Eldar Dreadnought with a Flamer and Shuriken Catapult, and the Shuriken Catapult comes with a Targeter. And we have a Scatter Laser with a Targeter. Behind him, we have another five Fire Dragons. Uh, I didn't mention it, the two. <clears throat> Shuriken cannons on the Vipers do have targets. And then out on the flank here, all by themselves, we have another five uh, Guardians with Shuriken catapults. So I do apologise for the wobble. I'm actually leaning over the board with a selfie stick. So uh, there you go. That's our 2,000 point outer army ready to take on <laughs> the Flesh Terrors. Okay, LB. Right. First thing I've got is a five-man squad there with sergeant with a power fist. It was ten men, but I split them into two fives. And they're being backed up with a dreadnought with twin lance cannon and missile launcher. And just tucked behind him is a tech marine who's basically got nothing but a pistol because I couldn't afford anything else. And sitting right next to him is a librarian. I know a psychic. Don't usually take them. He has got a power sword and a psychic hood. 
and he's next to a five man squad and they've all got chain swords and one's got a power back. Uh, actually, no, that is my other soldier squad, sorry. And that's got a power fist in it as well. And next to those behind the trees are a five man squad with a power weapon. And then I have my terminators, all with lightning claws with the captain who's also got lightning claws. And I've given the captain a conversion field and I've given a bionic arm, which gives him plus one strength and plus one energy in combat. I thought five points might even score against going against Eldar. Then we have another five man jump pack unit with a power weapon. The rest is all chain swords. And lastly, we have a nine man strong death company with chain swords and two have got power weapons. And it's a level one chaplain box standard, nothing extra. And that basically takes me to 2000 points. Oh, by the way, my dreadnought that is over here has got reinforced armor. So he's got plus one armor to all locations, just to make it a little bit more difficult for Rich to shoot him. And that's it. So we'll see how it goes in a minute. Okay, here we go. So, a couple of things. Uh, we're going to do terrain, and then we'll crack on with the battle. Really excited about this one. So, the uh, Great Harlequin comes with a conversion field, because I forgot to mention it in the army list. Conversion field, uh, executioner, and something else that I can't remember. The Exarch has a power sword and a conversion field. He also has a shuriken catapult. Oh, yes, he's got a shuriken catapult as well, oddly enough. I think I'll check the list. But he comes with Fighting Fury, so he's got plus one attack, and Distract, because there's going to be so many swords out there. Everybody's going to be able to parry, but if Jace does roll a one, it means I get two hits against him instead of the one. And the Farseer has a Witchblade uh, conversion field with his rune armor as well. Seer rune, so I'm guaranteed to cancel or nullify at least one of his powers. And I think that's about it. He's got a Shuriken Catapult as well, because I don't really want him getting into combat like that. So that should be it. So terrain wise, a bit of an odd one. Uh, things are representing. We've decided that any two stepped hills can hide wall walkers and dreadnoughts. Going up here is just normal inch move, one inch per level. If you jump up these sheer cliffs here, we're saying that's an extra boost and it takes six inches off your movement. For some bizarre reason, we've decided that if you jump over a wood, that's an extra six inches off your move, so you'd only have a horizontal move of 12 inches. <clears throat> the cactus patch, classic, are impassable and block line of sight. The woods block line of sight, obviously the hills do. The rocky outcrops don't block line of sight. Shall we make them impassable? So you've got to yeah. go around them? Yeah. So impassable, but you can shoot over them, but it will be a minus two to hit. The woods, if you're in them, regardless of whether you've got the uh, rocks in them, or not, are just minus one to be shot at. That's the same side, doesn't it? Yeah. So there you go. So that's it. And as you can see, you saw Jason's army. He's got his jump packers dotted around all around there. Terminator's in the middle. I mean, like I said, Jay, if he's got taken hold, he's got to get in there somewhere. I'm going to shift him off that. And there's the death company without jump packs. So this should be interesting. I bought the Harlequins to take on the jump packing death company, but they're not jump packing. So Jason's got a strike rate of five. I've got a strike rate of four. Ooh. Ooh. I don't want to go first. Well, yeah, actually, if I do go first, that'd be great. Oh, that's a tie. <laughs> You're such a douche. Right, okay. Oh, dull. Uh, right, so you go first turn. Okay. Uh, <laughs> we'll come back at the end of Jason's moving phase, turn one. Okay, here we go, turn one. I'm too excited for this game by far. So, Jay, swing us down the line. What have you done? Ran those forwards. That's your death company, yeah. Ran those. Didn't jump, I just ran them. Yep. Uh, ran the, those up forwards. Well, the terminators. Yep. And your captain? And the captain. Jumped those forwards. Have we done the scatter for them? Yeah. Did that's you? What, yeah, that's why this was over. Alright, okay. And we've done the scout the for these flame, boys, they jump. They just ran round. And they ran round as well. And the dreadnought started to go from the hills getting better value. Uh, Which tells me two things. Well, either A, those Dire Avengers are in serious trouble, or B, 
he's got witch hunt, <laughs> witch hunt or assassin. And if he has that, he can target my far seer because that's in the rules. So, shooting, sir. Shooting. Well, the only thing you got to shoot is your head. <laughs> oh, here we go. <laughs> Oh, he's, like, he's warming. He's warming up. He's warming up. <laughs> we will be doing a salt salvo. Right. Okay. Uh, frag or crack? I think. Uh, what's the armor save when you? Do I Avengers four. Yeah. So it'll be oh, minus one. Minus one for frag. Uh, oh right. Uh, let me pause this while he thinks about it because I've got to dig out some templates. Right, Jason's mission has been revealed. He's got either witch hunt or assassin because he cannot target my fire suit unless he's got it. So you might as well turn your card over. And he has got witch hunt. Ah, poo. And I was going to, I asked if I could swap those two as well. No wonder you said no. <laughs> well, it was it? Yeah, because I would have been over here out of line of sight. No, right, so here you go. You, so he's going to. put him there. No, I wanted to put him there. Oh, right, right, so. Jace Scott. Where have you at? I don't want to put my general over here. So we can well, do yeah, this. Wait. well, yeah, it doesn't, doesn't matter. Right, here we go. So, fire and crack missiles, sustained assault dice. One. Oh, Two to it, though, isn't it? Yeah. Oh, God. You've got a full passive, haven't you? Doesn't matter. Oh, he missed. Oh, he missed. Right, twin link last cannon. That's just one shot. You're, yeah, one shot, wounded yeah. twice. Hit him twice. Yeah. yeah. Right, so you've hit twice, so it's twos to wound. <laughs> Bloody hell. Oh, crap. <laughs> <laughs> What's supposed to say? Right, I've got a four plus conversion field. Right. Oh, oh yes! yes! And then a four plus rune armor. Right. Guess where he's going? <laughs> he's getting out of dodge. It's a vulnerable save, isn't it? Hmm? You're really not on Yeah, it's a vulnerable save as well. So you're getting the vulnerable and then. And the vulnerable, yeah. yeah. Ruddy out, psychic sir. Psychics. That was scary pads uh, moment. Two dice, isn't it? Two dice because we got two psychics on the board. Five. Five, that's not too bad. That was it. He's got, he's, yeah, well, you can shuffle him. He's got a witch blade, doesn't he? So I can store a card if I need to. Oh, Jesus, that was scary. I'm sweating here already. Uh, two, three, four, five. God. Yeah. What have I got? Right, okay. You'll go. I'm gonna use I'm gonna cast quickening. On yourself? No. Nope. On the dreadnought. <laughs> so you can fire again next turn. You can fire Right, well you can uh yeah you can do that. I'll let you do that. Right, so the library creates an eternal time for you. Movement, does its movement, attack, counter, etc. As long as it's in a play, you follow it twice, yeah. But it's in your, my next turn, not this turn, no. <coughs> yes, you, you can't get to shoot again now. What no. you do is when you get to fire, you get to fire on your weapons twice. I'm tempted to waste my seer rune now to stop that. But I don't know what other power you got. <coughs> It's in the, it'll be in the shooting phase. Yeah. You can cast that on the dreadnought. Yeah. Right, so you've got one card left which you can store. Right, so. Uh, <clears throat> hmm. Right. I don't like your psychic, but I think he's possibly out of range. I was going to mind war you. It's 36, and I don't think. I think you're out of range. Right, I'm going to attempt to cast mind war on you, Psyker. All right. <clears throat> so I'm going to pause this a minute because we've got to measure the range. Okay, my, he didn't have to nullify it because my Psyker was about three inches out, so it's good to know for next time. <clears throat> Which means. Hmm. No, I'm okay at the moment. You're okay? Right, I'm going to cast Battle Fate then. On this unit of Dire Avengers, which gives them plus one to hit. Yeah? yeah. Okay, that's it. I'm done. All right. 
Right, that's the end of uh, Jason's turn one. So I'm gonna move into my turn one and we'll come back after my movement phase. I have no idea what I've done. Right, okay. Uh, I'm looking for a run counter because I've run the Harlequins and the Great Harlequin over to here. Uh, don't ask me why. I've moved the last cannons forward to try and take a pot shot at his dreadnought over there, but if it's over a certain range, it's minus one to my armor penetration. And on top of that, he's got reinforced armor. And I have kind of sacrificed them because they can get charged and jumped by them. I've run the Guardians over to here. I'm playing a defensive game. The Farseer has absolutely legged it. And the um, Exarch's come over here as well. Fire Dragons have stayed there. We thought about putting them on Overwatch so when he jumps over, but if he lands behind there, they can't really do anything as they come up with really engage combat, so we haven't bothered. Banshees, I didn't know what to do, so they've just gone Overwatch. That's gone into Overwatch. They're going to have a crack shot at them. Dreadnought's come across to have a crack shot at them. They've gone into Overwatch for when hopefully they jump across. These are booted at combat speed. It seems daft that they're facing the wrong way, but the turrets have a 360 degree fire arc so they can fire back. So this squad, if I'm lucky, backed up by the Woolwalker as well, should disappear. The fire dragons here didn't do anything. Do you know what? Put them on Overwatch. Just in case you jump that. The fire dragons are the ones that are going to take out the uh, dreadnoughts if they get close enough. This is some scary, scary stuff. Right, so. Whew, shooting. Let's start with the shortest range stuff first. Shuriken catapults. They're all in range. They can all see. They get plus one to hit. For any range of one though, aren't they? No, oh, 20, 20, 24, 20. isn't it? Oh yeah. yeah. <laughs> Second edition, sir. So they're fairly. Yeah. Yeah. Right, so. Plus one to hit, seven dice. Haven't got guide on them, because guide's not like it is in third onwards. So, normally, threes to hit, battle of eight, twos. Almost a full house. This is where it all goes wrong now. Six sustained dice, two in. Oh, three jams. Three that's jams. Okay. Yeah, that's okay. So that's the front three who are gonna die anyway. And H hit, one, two, four, six. Eight. Force of wound. Well, that's bad. So that's three saves at minus two. Minus two, so it'll be a five plus. Oh, oh one dead. Oh. Front man. It's got to be the front man. Right, on top of that, then scatter laser and shuriken catapult. Shuriken catapult from the dreadnought. Hits. One hit. No wounds. Scatter laser. It's going to be twos to hit because it's plus one at short range, plus it's got a targeter and it's up with a skill set. Oh, look at that, so I rolled two ones. Well, that didn't sound good. Twos to wound, though. No. Oh, three saves at minus one, so four plus. Oh, look at that. And I knocked the dice off the table. Right, this ain't going very well. Right, so we worked out the. Hmm. Do you know what? I'm going to do the shuriken cannons at them. This one's. Ah, these. Oh, sorry. Right, pull that. Our oh, planet, range of 40. So, two shuriken cannons with targeters would need three, four, so I need threes to hit. One hit. Five hits. Threes to win. Oh, that's better. Minus three saves, so six plus the save, sir. Two more dead. Right. Oh, Jace has already played a card, Divine Inspiration. Right, so last thing will be a Bright Lance. Ooh, arc at me. Last cannon at your Dreadnought, scatter laser, because I can still see him at them. So six shots. It's not within short range. So there's going to be four targeted threes. Two to wound. This is taken. Far too much shooting. Four saves at minus one. Good God. Right, okay. Last cannon. Uh, freeze to hit. <laughs> Go figure. <laughs> right, okay, let's let's stop messing around here. Two last cannons. 
Uh, I'm going to do your two shuriken catapults um, at the map. Alright. One hit. Oh, because the rocks don't block the one side, do they? Yeah, because well, I'm shooting straight yeah. across there and yeah. he's shooting above it, so it doesn't matter. Two hits, forced a wound. No, no wounds. Right. Okay, we'll see if those two ones will redeem mm. themselves. Two last cannons. Would normally need fours, but they got targeted, so I need threes. This will be on your side armor. Uh, that's just, no, with the front. Okay. Uh, both hit. Both hit. Right, locations on both of them. Six and a four. Right. Six is the body. What's a four? Oh, body as well. Right, 3d6 plus nine. Uh, what, are you over your... Oh, do we need to check the range of that? I'm sure it's over 24. Okay, so with all the modifiers, he's basically got an armor value of 23. Because it's minus one, anywhere between 24 to 48 inches. Oh, God. Right, nine plus. Uh, nine plus nine is 18, 19, 20. <laughs> and... Oh, no. That's, uh, that's nine... That's 11, 20, 22. <laughs> uh, bugger. I think I've long range. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That would take it. I should have done it. S stupid rule. Right. <laughs> <laughs> Bloody hell, Andy. Right, okay. That was horrendous. That took far too much shooting to get rid of one squad. But then technically, there's not a lot I could see. Uh, right, so psychics. <sighs> What's that? Three. Oh god, is that all? Yeah, do two to me. Oh, I didn't need that! I didn't need that! Right, okay. Uh, I'm going to nullify your quickening, and that means you can't put it back on this turn. <sighs> I'm hiding you, aren't I? So you get plus one. Oh, failed anyway. Oh no! <laughs> um... Those are the two I used for now. That's the there. Complicate now. Do I need to do that one? Well, I've lost a battle fate as well. Mm -hmm. Just thinking, this is my other card. No, I'm gonna, I'll leave, I'm gonna, I'll leave that. I'm gonna, don't, don't right, you're not gonna do that? Right, I can't yeah. attempt to nullify again, so I've got to ditch that card. I, I, I wanted some false cards, I couldn't do what I wanted to do. I was gonna cast guide on that. Oh, I might just turn that card over, I've kind of let you know that. <laughs> so, you haven't done anything? No, I can't. I, I ended up with, I needed a high roll. Yeah. I ended up with a low roll and I couldn't even cast two force cards on that to guide and hit your dreadnought. I was almost yeah. thinking of having a wraith guard unit just to put guide on all the time. So I'll put that So you can ditch that. What is it? Because if it's still not make attack, you dipped out because I can't cast anything. No. Destroy power. No. Reflection. Oh, you got energy drain. Oh, you. Ooh, right, okay, that's... Yeah. Things I play it, I use my quickly. Yeah, that's right, yeah. So, well, now, so see what you had first, what you yeah. could do. <laughs> so his Dreadnought's going to go absolutely ballistic on something now. <coughs> so you can basically fire your missile launcher twice, and your last cannons twice, or is it one weapon twice? No, we'll fire twice. Fire twice, brilliant. Yeah. So that's going to be... Well, he can't see my Wraith Dreadnought unless he moves across, but he could take up with Wall Walker. Move there. Move there. there. You've got both, haven't you? Got or you could... Yeah, yeah, yeah. So that, that flank's kind of gone. Right, okay, so we'll come back at the end of Jason's turn two. Will he be declaring charges? Okay, turn two. Oh my god, what a turn this is going to be. So, Jason's run them. Jason's run them. Jason's struck them, which actually one landed and revealed the minefield that I had right in the middle here. <coughs> right, it's going to get complicated now, guys. These have charged into them. We haven't done the scatter yet, because as they're leaping through the air, they jump through a hail of shuriken, hopefully, because all this lot is overwatched and is shooting them whilst they're up here before they land. These have charged the dreadnought. We haven't done the scatter for them yet, because as they jump, they're going to jump into a hail of shuriken, hopefully. 
And then what we're going to do, the survivors will land, Jace will do your scatter, which we'll do off camera, and um, then he'll do his forward to move into him. He's got a power fist there, so that's pretty much dead. Uh, I'm assuming two, a power sword in there. Yeah, yeah. there he is. So they're, they're dead. And once he's got rid of, his quickening dreadnought has got rid of that wall walker, and he's got rid of them, I have got nothing to take out his dreadnought in combat. This is going to be nasty. Right, so, Severus Sheriff and Catapults, shooting at them. Two were in short range, so I'm yep. going to do them first. Now, it's minus one for firing on Overwatch, flustered or short targets coming out of terrain and that. These two are shooting at plus one for short range, so they need three standard, minus one, because of Overwatch, fours, plus one short range. So, threes to hit. Cock dice. One hit. Doing one hit. Doing no. no wounds. Right, so the other five actually, with all the modifiers, need fours. Uh, three hits. Well, that's Ooh, not bad. Man. What's that? Seven hits in total. Mm -hmm. Fours to wound. Five oh, saves at minus two. Can I save my last guns? Last cannons. Uh, Five plus. Five plus, yeah. You're doing it. Oh, look at that. One dead. And we said he could remove whatever he wants. And then we'll do the scatter in a minute. Mate, that was some spawny save in there. All right, these five, they are plus one at short range. So they would need four standard. Five because of Overwatch, fours to hit. Well, that's not bad. Mm, nice. Four hits. This one I need, actually. Oh, four hits. <laughs> oh my god. Oh, better than jams, I suppose. Uh, three saves. Three. Uh, minus two. Don't get lucky this time. No, he doesn't. Two, two dead. That's a break test. Uh, I'd still say you'd end up in combat. You just yeah. broke your just shaking if you, if you fail this. You've got leadership with God knows. Uh, that's got a sergeant as a leadership 10. Yeah, leadership 10 because you've got divine inspiration. Yeah, you're yeah. fine. Right, so that's the Overwatch done. So I'll remove them. Luckily, no jams on that one. Luckily, no jams on that one. Uh, the Banshees are on Overwatch, so they can... That's pistol them. So I might as well. Might as well do it now. Range of 16 for a pistol. Nope. Yeah, four pistols. Let me pause this. I think last pistols are minus one at long range. Well, as it happens, they are the minus one at long range, so with all the modifiers, they need fives. Two hits. Trouble is, they need fives to wound. No, no, sorry about that, guys. Right, so that's them done as well. Okay, welcome back after Jace has done his um, scatter and rolls. We've done the scatter rolls on them, that's done. Depends where they go. If you go backwards, then I've got a fighting chance of surviving. Okay, with all the deviation, he got hit, 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 and a scatter. But with the four inch follow up, he's in there, so that's fine. The gods did kind of favour me. The power fist scattered back three inches and he moved four inches back up. So he cannot help that combat and those two cannot hurt the dreadnought. So small blessings there considering what's happening or what's going to happen over here. Mm. I think we're going to have a swig of tea because this is going to be disastrous. Right, so his dreadnought, don't forget, couldn't nullify it, has got quickening, which means even though he's got a reduced move of four, he can move eight inches. I will be doing a salvo. I thought you might. Onto your um, speeders. Viper, vipers, yeah. Yep. And the last cannon onto the walker. So, what salvo are you doing, sir? Crack. Crack, it is, sir. Right, okay. So, how many shots? Uh, oh, God, I've rolled a hit for it, hasn't I? Uh, oh, you know, no, 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 with this, you rolled how many around, shots yeah. you get? Two, Two shots. Uh, now, I'm minus. One, so that negates your targeter. But I'm assuming you're a ballistic skill of six, so it's two C anyway. Yeah. Two hits. Right, okay. Let me get this. So, it's on a squadron, so this will be on this one here. I know. <clears throat> yeah, you're up there, you can see them both. So that's the closest one to you. So, you ready? What are you doing? Yeah, I'm clicking the card for the, um, on the transmission, what's that lot? Well, it's a crack missile launcher, mate. Yeah. It's, it's lots. 
Oh, your cards underneath all your books. I've got one here, it doesn't matter. So, here we go. Crack missile launcher. You can look all you want, so I've got it here. It's D10 plus D6, but your location. So I'll get you a D10. There you go, you're not gonna need it because it's gonna hit. Okay, so, first crack missile launcher, one D6 for location. Oh, wow. Is the crew. Uh, right, so basically, is uh, two's to win. Oh, don't perpetuate, do I? No, you hit the crew. Oh, so that's it, I can't save, so the gun is dead. Right. Right, so I've lost the shuriken cannon. And again on that one, this is the closest one, location. Six. This is better, it's on the Viper itself. Armour penetration is 12, so you're eight, nine, tens the minimal you get. Yeah, that'll do. No. Right, <laughs> roll, roll a d6. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Ah, uh, right. So the Viper's fuel catches fire, killing the crew. The flaming wreckage hurtles out of control and explodes next turn. Uh, that's literally on the edge of the world, because everybody knows the world is flat. And that's going to go... And that's Jason's phone going off. So I'll pause this. So Jason, I've decided with the rules, it's one, two, th one, three, six sort of thing. It's going to go off the board before it explodes, so that's gone. Last cannon now. At this one. Twos. Twos. Hits. That's a hit, sir. Now, what you wrote is one location, and you can go up or down on this. And it's still two hits, it? It? It's still two hits. Yeah. Right, so, wall walker. Roll for once. Three. That's a three. Well, that's bang in the middle. So that's a weapon, which will be the scatter laser, because it's nearest. Or you can go down to the legs or up to the Eldar pilot. Right, Eldar pilot's got a two plus save, isn't it? Yeah, but you know what I'm going to roll. So I'll go to the legs. Right, legs it is, then. 18. 18. Hang on, hang on, hang on. Oh, it's long range. Yep, so it's 19. So you basically on 3d6 got to get 10. 3d6? Yep. And it's twice. And it's twice. 3d6. No. no. And again, this is your second last cannon. No! Because no. oh. that's, hang on, that's uh, 8 plus 9 17. Yeah, wow. Look, you got quick in then, isn't it? It is. Yeah. Do you want to try that again? Uh, yep. So uh, as, as, they, as the experts all say when they game, rinse and repeat, sir. Yep, so, Mr. Launcher. Fire crack at that one, and last count on that one. <laughs> <laughs> done, it? Ah, tell me about it. Right, right. so, so, uh, uh, sustained dice. Fire in. Two. Two again. Needing twos to hit, because of your high ballistic skill. One hit. One hit. So it doesn't matter, locations on the side. Let me get the cards there. Got plenty, you know? Okay, yeah, but if you hit the gunner. Oh, yeah. All right, location, side. Four. Oh, hit the Viper, this will hurt. So, 12. Oh, side rear, 10. Oh, that's gonna hurt. Oh, you can't, fail. So roll D6. One. Oh, that's not too bad. The Viper's jerk and catapults are destroyed and be long, longer than we used. Oh, got it. <sighs> right, okay, and... One dice, two's to hit. Hits. Hit. Right, location. Again, now, you can go down, that's five, you can go down to four, which is the weapon, which will be the Shuriken scatter laser, or you can target the, target the uh, Eldar pilot. I'll do the weapon. All right. So I saw one weapon, I'll be showing both of them, won't I? Uh, no, you one weapon each. Yeah, well, I've got two shots. Uh, yes, so yeah. you'll, you'll destroy one and destroy the other. Yeah. Okay, so 19 again. 3d6. 3d6, 19. I'm going to get a 9. You're going to get 10. 10, is it? Yeah. That would be strong, is it? I thought it was a D, I thought it was a D10 ball. No. no. It's the most powerful weapon in the game. Yeah, no. Uh, that's 11 plus 9 is 19. That will do. Roll for damage on the scatter laser, because that's the closest one first. Two. Two. The weapon is destroyed. So I have no longer got a scout laser, which means yeah, I still have the last cannon. Ooh! Right, so that's, right. That. So that's that. We've got combat there, combat there. You, you ran them, you ran them. So you do have pistol shots here, sir. Yeah. Now, yeah. technically, because you've revealed the fact you've got Witch Hunter, they can shoot at him. Yeah, but not one of them. Only three. Uh, why? Because they can't shoot. Why not? So oh, because, oh yeah, true line of sight, isn't it? Yeah. Yeah, so three bolt pistols. Into him. Then you got three wounds. Well, 
Bloodstained Blood Street 3 Guardians that make you want to. They're not Guardians, they're Dire Avengers. Avengers. They're the best I've got, man. I'm going to do 3 Guardians, mate. Uh, Dire Avengers. Avengers. Don't insult my don't insult my Avengers. After saying my favourite troops of Dire Avengers, I thought about a few of them. I think short range. Oh yeah, two's to it. Yep. Three hits. Three's to wound. Two. Two saves on a five or six. Oh, look at that double one. Uh, one more would have been half the squad. Or quarter of the squad. Hang on. No, we're uh, If you got five. Oh, 25%. If you got, yeah, 25%. So yeah, one more. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. You round it up. Eight. You got eight men there, isn't it? I've got seven there. Seven. Half of seven is three and a half. That's four. Two, oh, the quarter is two, yeah. yeah right, test. yeah, break yeah. test, yeah. That's yeah. right. On their own, but I had the far seat there anyway. Right, so that's them. That's, that's it, and now it's the nitty gritty combat. <clears throat> right, you can't do that, so we can come back to that in a minute. Well, let's hurt this lot. Yeah. Right, it's no point in rolling dice here. Stop the guy on the hill. One attack. Additional hand weapon. Right, so I've got three. I got a weapon six. You've got a weapon skill of four, charging five. Oh! I love that. Right. Six, seven, I've got. Oh, I've got six, seven. All right. Uh, What's your name? Four. Uh, mine's four, I think. So that's a proper tie. Oh my god! <laughs> yeah, there's four. Yeah, mine's four. <laughs> I held you off! Yeah. I don't want that, I want to run! Unless you parry it. Oh. What's your work? I made, originally I made a vector. You were going to make a vector, you'd have yeah. a weapon skill of five. No, I would have been a digital five as well. Ooh! But yeah, this is four, mate. Weapon skill of four, so yeah. Alright, so that's a proper tie. Right, next this one. This one then. So I've got a weapon skill of. Oh, God, I'm dead. Right, uh, I've got three. I've got. You've got. <laughs> you've got eight, eight, nine, ten. Yeah, you've got a weapon skill of four. Eight, plus that one. Yeah, you've got a weapon skill of oh, four. Charging, yeah, yeah. charging five, plus yeah. that, nine, ten against my three. So, so seven hits. Strength four, four, threes to wound. Yeah, I'll just make a couple of saves. Yeah, I'm dead. So as this is a battery, I can, I can, uh, that's actually, uh, yeah, that's 25%. But I think battery, um, I'll have to check it out. I'm sure the battery rules have got something different where they get something. Oh, it doesn't matter. Right, this one here. Oh, dead mate. Oh, there you go. Right, that's lots of hits. Uh, yeah, no, right. I'm going to have to check the rules on that now. So that's a definite break test. Yeah, you. Okay, I was right. Uh, weapons batteries, guys, if you got them, uh, they draw great reassurance from their guns. So they've actually got plus two to their leadership, and they got a leadership of 10. Yeah, so they hold. Wow. Uh, not for long, because he's going to get hacked to pieces now. I'm going to roll another one. No, oh, five here, parry that. Ooh, oh, come on, come no, you, you, well. oh, yeah, you could have. I did say that, but you didn't. Oh. Yeah. But you'd already looked up. So, you're winning, because that's, that's one that's hit. three, four. Yeah, that's one hit. One? Yeah. Oh, yeah. Because you, you, we both got the same. Oh, no. Two hits, because you got better weapon skill anyway. One save. Ah, oh, failed it. Minus one. So, that's the state of play at the moment. He's holding it against that lot. Now, you can move two inches into base contact. Which means that one, yeah, going to base. or you can go into the base contact of the gun if you want, I suppose. But it's pointless, I can't do anything with that. In fact, once they lose the crew, I think you lose the gun, so that's it. So it's just that one yeah. left. So he can stay there, he can move two inches, but because this is such an individual model thing, you won't be classed as being in combat, which means oh, I can shoot you. Yeah, I'll just move him up towards, towards yeah. the gun. Yeah. Yeah. And then two inches will bring him to there. Happy with that? Yep. Okay, that's fine. Combat over here then. Yeah, Which you can't win, but... In, yeah, it's your gun. Well, I can't win that. Uh, but, no. You can. It's not the point of that. You want to win, you can't hurt me. If you win, I can't kill you. Yeah. So, I have got three attacks. You can parry me. I mean, a lot of people think, how can you parry that? I don't look at it as parrying it. You're just jumping out of the way or dodge, ducking at the last minute. So, all right, weapon skill of six. Oh, there you go. Right, I'm gonna, I'm gonna probably parry that. You're gonna parry that, aren't you? 
uh, or will be. Oh, I don't know. I don't know. Uh, well, I got one for skill of six. I got one for skill of four. Well, I got, I got 11. So you're one for skill of four. I'm oh, charging five, ten, eleven, twelve. You won, that will do. Yeah. Right, next one. <coughs> ten. Oh, there you go, you won that one as yeah. well. There you go. That's, That's perfect. That. That's what you wanted. Yep. Psychics. <sighs> two dice. And now my Pharisee is the wrong side to bloody guide on that. Yeah, two dice, isn't it? Yeah. yeah. Oh, wait, that's better. There you go, because I'm Odin said camera, sir. Let's see what we got, viewers. It's not too bad. Right, you'll go, sir. Because you haven't got a lot in the way of powers anyway. Ooh, he had a retaining hand. Tick tock, sir, tick tock. <laughs> do you want to pause this, sir? What do you think about it? Uh, trouble is, I think that was that was lucky. That was really. What happened to that one? Oh, the shirt and cabinet capitals underneath yeah. it done, didn't they? Yeah. Um. Yeah, I'm going to use teleport. Oh, he's got teleport. Um. Yeah, gone. Forty-six, isn't it? Yeah. Eight, ten. Ten inches. Now, of course, the thing is, guys, he can move He can move his ten inches, which is fine. If he takes, if I nullify quickening, or he takes it back into his hand, the next turn he can cast quickening on himself and teleport air go Absolutely mm -hmm. mental. Turns out they're going to I'm just going to teleport to there. Okay, that's fine. Well, I'm going to attempt to nullify quickening. Oh my god, again! What is wrong with you, Forrest, here? Alright, you'll go, sir. Not like right you can do. Come on. It's a nice right, okay, so now it's my turn to play. <clears throat> okay, I'm gonna think. I'm gonna have to pause this, guys. I need to think about this. Okay, so the Forrest here is gonna guide him out a gun. It doubles the range. Ooh, doubles the range. It might be out of range. Yeah, but 24. Oh, he's just out. Just out. So that was a waste of a power. Should have taken one of them out. Right, okay. <sighs> I'm going to cast... Mind War on your captain. Oh, well. I'm going to cast Mind War. Uh, and it's 46 plus 1 for each force card, so that's 5d6. Uh, I'm going to cast Mind War on your Powerfish Chappy. Ooh, I will find nullify it. Alright, 5 or 6. Now I haven't been able to nullify anything, so watch Jason nullify this. There you go. He's an absolute. Right, okay, that's fine. Uh, so we've done guard, we've done mind war. It's going to be combat around soon. Do I need battle fate? No. Do I? Do I need battle fate? Guard. Done mind war, done guide. Battle fate will give me plus one. Ah, yeah, battle fate. I'll cast battle fate on my war walker because it's got a range of 72. Mm -hmm. So it'll be plus one to hit. Do you want to nullify it? No? 
All right, that's it. That's the end of the psychic phase then. So not a very good one. Well, the wall walker now got plus one to hit. Let's hope I can make that shot count. Right. So we'll be back nice. um, at the end of my movement phase, turn two. Okay, so my turn two movement phase, uh, I didn't know what to do with the Harlequins yet. I'm scared. Um, I want to get the charge on them, but they're frenzy, so they can't parry. So that does give me a slight advantage there. They move around to try and pin some wounds on them because they're kind of two wounded a piece. Exarch, Dire Avenger, kind of looking dude, is charged in. Should be able to take one of them out. Fire Dragons have gone into Overwatch. Banshees have run over there, ready to take on this lot. That's going to be absolutely cream crackered. <coughs> Farsi has run over to here. Let's have a go if you think you're off. What I'm going to do is just pop him there. I don't want that dreadnought drawing a little line of sight on him. So in fact, I'll bring him in there like that. There we go. So I don't block my own line of sight. Uh, oh, you know, I'm, I'm going to go there. I'm going to stay there. You can't see me because of that. Right, so that's fine. Banshees run over there. That lot, I'm going to shoot at them. These four, we're going to see how it goes. I'm going to do these last because I've got these lot here. The dreadnought can move out of combat. I would like to have moved him out of combat, but the rules say I can't. The only time you can fall out of combat is if you naturally break. So I couldn't do that. So I can shoot him up, but I've got nothing to shoot him with because I've run everything else here. Um, so here I'll be able to try and get into him, but it's just going to be messy. These five are going to try and have a pop at him. Warwalkers move forward, trying to get rid of that minus one for the range. He's got plus one to hit, so he technically needs a four, three, two. To hit that <laughs> and then that's gone combat speed done a full 90 degree turn and just zoomed up there <sighs> shall we we shall all right let's do the most the biggest one here battle fate twos to hit your dreadnought oh. that winked as oh, well it did. Yeah. right location sir is three, three. well that's going to be a weapon is a right arm that will be the that's last cannon. Oh, that's nice. Those still matter. So it was... is armor of 20. Right, can you range that for me? If it's 24. No, I'm fine. Just Ooh, just. Right, so. <sighs> that's. Three shots? Last cannon. 3d6 per side. Oh, sorry. I've already hit. Yeah, sorry, yeah. So that's uh, 6 well, plus 6 is 12, plus 9 is uh, 21. 21. 21, and you needed 20. With your reinforced armor? With the reinforced armor. Right, damage on the last cannon. 2. two. Uh, that was a 6 as well. <laughs> six. Oh, right, two. Should be destroyed. The weapon in mount on the arm are jammed. Oh, that'll do. Was it 2, wasn't it? Yeah. 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 Any weapon mounted on this arm are jammed or partly damaged and can only be used if you first roll a full plus. Oh, that's, that's all right. It's better than nothing. Because you've got a tech brain that can potentially fix that. Right, let's do these five, uh, no, four, because he can't actually see. So four shots, uh, normally need threes, uh, fours, plus one at short range, threes to hit. Oh, look at that. Well, let's hope the sustained fire dice come good. Yeah, mm, for it, right. that will do. Force to wound. Three mm. saves at minus two. So five or six. Two dead. So it's got to be the closest two. Combination. Oh, closest two. That one. That one. And that's a break test. Leadership of ten. Oh no, you saw just gone now. Nine. Leadership of nine now because you're divine inspiration. Nice. Well, what I'm going to do, because I don't think I'll ever get a chance to play it again, he's shaken, but because I played Craven Cowardice, he's actually broken. Ooh. And because he's below our strength, he can't rally. So you lose him. Oh, hang on. Jace is getting out of card now. He's just checking. I mean, he's going to have to do some serious penance, unless you've got insane bravery. No, I like that. Right, so he's gone. He'd only be dead anyway. Yeah, he would have been dead. Right, so next one is it's a hard shot. Scatter laser onto the librarian. Because he is taller than level one on the rocks. Uh well I've got but let's get a six on the twos. Minus one threes, target is twos. It's not hard cover, is it? 
just no soft mm, cover. Soft. Uh, what's your toughness? Is it five? Uh, no. Or is he still? Well, I don't know, mate. He's hard. He's a level two psyker. He did go quite quick. Oh, yeah, it's up to point. Right, three's to win. Oh, is he? Right, three's to win. Three saves at minus one. So four saves. Three saves. Three saves out of four. Out of four plus, yeah. Takes eight wounds. So he's got one we left. Yeah. Right, so that dreadnought's dead me. Okay, so, because they're gone, one, two, three, because I can draw a line of sight up there and he can target him up there as well. Four. Shuriken cannons, uh, cannons? Shur shuriken cat boats. Hang on. Oh, yeah, he's in range. Is he? Yeah, he's, oh, he's in angle, look. 90 degrees. No. Okay. Right, so, four shuriken cat boats, because that'll clear the jam at them. What I'm going to have to do. I, mean, two. I should have measured this. Ah, they're mostly out of range, so that's fine. So, twos would have missed. They're not within short range, there's two hits. Doing oh, jam and one hit. Doing absolutely nothing. What a waste of shots there. So, their jams are cleared, and there's one back on, and that one there is jammed, right? Which means these boys are gonna have to do it. So, five shots need two because they're at short range. That'll do. I see the jams, yeah. One jam, one jam, but we got three, four, five, six, seven, eight hits. Nice. Yeah, but only four to wound. No, that's all right. One, two, four. Four, four saves at minus two. So it's fives. Yeah. Two dead. Front two. One, two. And then that will be a break test. failing this no nope. okay so then last one five shots from them into your death company need them four two hits doing a total of sorry about the camera wobbling guys three hits three, three wounds two wounds minus two Right, so you take a wound, you die. Yeah. So one dead. Right, that is my shooting, and that isn't very good. Last cannon's damaged over there, but you can multi salve over the. Well, you can't target that now. You gotta target there. That that was probably good. That there. Right, combat then. Oh, I can. Because I can't. You can't, yeah. So if you don't turn, then yeah, yeah that's fine. The last cannon would have had to have gone to that. Yeah. Right, so combat. Well, it's my turn, so we'll do my X arc first. One attack, two attacks, extra weapon, and fighting fury, four attacks. Both can parry. So there we go, so you can't nullify that. No ones for me, that's a shame. So I've got a weapon skill of six, charging seven. 8, 9, oh, 10, 11, 12. 9. 9, 10, 11, 12. Strength 5. 2 saves at minus 3. Uh, sixes. Sixes, yeah. No, nope. nope. so he's dead. 2 inch consolidation. Yes, we get into him. Taking into him. Rawr. Is he into it? No, I couldn't get up there. Okay. I was just making it look good. Right, so, uh, this one here. Because yeah. then basically if you kill him, the guns are relevant. 2 attacks. Yeah. Three, so I've got six. Uh, got, you got four. Six, seven. I got eight, ten. Yep, three hits. Um, three saves. Power. Oh, was it? Oh, he's dead, right, okay, so that's gone. And there you go. So you're not in combat, nope. so you can jump wherever you like. Yeah. Because I couldn't shoot you. Right, okay, so he's dead. Psychics, I need a good roll. That's not six. a good roll. Six. One, two, three, four, five, six. Okay. Hmm, not the best, is it? Right, my go. I'm going to attempt to nullify for the umpteenth time. Quickening. Oh, two again! Oh, brilliant. Oh, my God, that's so... 
hang on a minute. Change that. I'm fed up with doing that. I'm gonna. You just done it. Yeah, that's fine. Yeah, I wasted it. What a waste. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but now what I should have done is just use my sea of runes. Is that when someone casts, or you can just do it any any time? Let's find out. Uh, okay, so my sea of runes. I, I I should have used it right at the beginning. My seer runes can only be used when he goes to cast a power. So that power's already in play, so what a spud. Right. Right, I'm gonna try and teleport again. Okay. You can do it? Uh, no, go on. Right, so it's four dice. Well, oh, that's not bad, sir. That's, that's a lot. That's 14. 10, 14, that's not bad. A bit better, isn't it? Yeah. I know it brings me closer to you, but yeah, but it gets me... Out of line of sight as well. Up to there. Near that unit. Okay, what have we got left to do? You got a power crystal, power sword in there? No. Is he dead? He's dead now. Yeah, he's dead. I'm going to try and cast Mind War on your library. Uh, yeah, yeah, actually, yes, I will. So it's four dice plus one for the psych for the fourth right, card. I'm going to try and nullify it. Okay, oh, watch this. <laughs> yeah, I can't nullify anything. Do no. you get to reroll that? No. Oh. Right. So four d five d six. Any sixes, you lose the psychic power. So I suppose this is one way of nullifying it. <laughs> Oh yeah, of course, yeah. Right, I've got one. So, basically, you lose a random power. I'm going to roll a d6. At random power, one, two, three. That's what I mean. Four, five, six. Yeah, one, two, three, it's a quick name. Yeah! <laughs> so it's gone. So you just basically cast another point, but... Yeah, I've got it, I've destroyed it from your mind. All right. But that means I can't put wounds on you. Oh, right. So if that was a normal character, that would have taken a wound. But it says uh... here, uh... Mind War will be blah, 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 blah. If a fire suit uses Mind War on an enemy psychic, he must take one random psychic card from the roll for each roll of a six instead of taking a wound. Once you've lost your wound, then I can cause powers. Oh, hang on. The powers of discarded may not be used again for the remainder of the game. If the enemy psycho has less than the required number of psychic cards, he loses all his powers and suffers D3 wounds. It's nasty. So if I do that again to you and I get rid of, and I've rolled two sixes, you'll lose your powers and suffer... Mm. Oh, that's pretty good. So I could wear you down, I suppose. But now I've left myself extremely open. Ah, <sighs> that was silly. So I've got to take probably that charge and maybe that charge. Okay, so that's the end of... Uh, you got nothing else to do? You can't no, do nothing no, else. No. So that's the end. So I got rid of the equipment, so that's a good thing. Uh, right, so turn three coming up. Okay, turn three, here we go. We've had uh, a charge here, haven't we, Jace? Oops. Yep. <laughs> uh, basically, uh, they jumped over there. They overwatched, melted one. He failed his break test. I know we normally roll this on camera. He actually failed his break test, which would have made him shaken. So Jace has played Insane Courage. So he's a divine inspiration and Insane Courage. That's very fluffy, sir. Uh, landed in mine. The, these three ran across the minefield. They didn't care. Didn't set any off. So it's a stupid minefield. Uh, so he's pretty dead. They've run forward. They've had to stop an inch or running eight inches because he's within eight. So he's proper dead meat in a minute if he survives well, this. If, they, if he survives that, and we're locked in combat there, I know if they're in range. Yeah, that's right. Yeah, but yes. you'd have to make sure you got the space because <laughs> well, you got to get the base contact. Be going first. Oh yeah, of course it will be. <laughs> uh, right, his tech ring has moved up there, can do a repair at the end of the game. Um, yeah, so, and his uh, death company, he's got control of them because of the chaplain, so he's going to do some shooting, because by the time he ran, he'd be roughly where he was anyway, so. Yeah. Got a lot of bolt pistol shots going on there, so might as well do that shooting first, sir. So, yeah. 16, yeah, they're all going to... Five shots. Five shots? Yeah, because he can't see because he's behind it. When they can't shoot behind no. his men in the way. So five shots needing. Freeze. Freeze, yeah. Ooh, well, they are frenzy, sir. Two hits. It's enough to cause a break test. Two wounds. Two wounds, two sixes needed. Oh, Ooh. one dead, which would be that one. Not enough for a break test. One more. No, that ain't going to happen. Oh. Right. 
And then we'll have to go. Oh, look, that one's shooting. I've got that. Nothing. Oh, uh, dreadnought. dreadnought. Now, your missile launcher is fine. So you yes. can do a salvo. Well, we're we doing a salvo on the missile with the missile launcher. Yeah, so, do I, so, so the missile launcher there, because it was angle of fire, can still target that. And his last can, if it works, can target that yeah. one. So on the full plus, you do that one first. Last cannon, full plus. No. no. So, missile launcher, salvo, Elbow. crack, obviously. Oh, it's a jam. Oh, it's a jam. Oh, oh my God. Jesus. So, that's it. Combat, sir. Oh, uh, yes. This is nasty. Right, so I have got. I don't know. Oh, Christ, three attacks. Yeah, you're not soft, are you? Yeah, you're not in this game, are you? Three attacks, extra weapon. And let me just check. Sorry, I've got a witch blade, so I need to check that. Alright, I've got two attacks. Right, so I've got four attacks, weapon skill is seven. Both can parry. Oh, so there's a one for you anyway. Alright. Um, seven. Again. I've got twelve. I've got what's your weapon skill? Uh four. Charging five. Eight and six, seven, eight, nine. I've got twelve, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. Strength eight, two to wound. That's minus five save, one dead. Uh, so I'll take that one away. Okay. <clears throat> Right, so, here we go. So oh, now, <coughs> your weapon skill, this is the second man, so your weapon six. skill is four, charging five, six. Yep. And you roll an extra dice. I've got five. I've got 12 in total. I've got 12 in total. I've definitely got the iron -ish. Yep. Killed him. So that's that one. Because right. you're doing that squad first. Yep. Now uh, we're equal. Right, so now it's down to dice. Oh, so I'll give you a one. So we're equal. You oh, give me a one, right. you hit me twice. Because you've got a weapon skill of six. You right. roll a six. So two wounds. Strength, sir? Strength is four. Only four. Right, five to wound. Oh, six. gets it as well. Two saves on a conversion field. Yep. Right, now you're plus one to me and an extra dice. Right, so so your weapon two, skill's eight. Oh, hang on. One, one two, yeah. three, four extra dice. Yeah. And one normal two dice. So that's him gone. He managed to get the first hit. Yeah. So this guy here without the power sword. Yeah. So he's technically weapon skill four, charging five, six, seven, eight, eight. and you're rolling an extra one, two, three dice. You've got two attacks standard. Here we go. Got a six, perfect. Got a six, you've got a one. Right, that might make a difference. So I've got 13. I've got, is it eight? You got eight, you got 14. 14. 14. So I got the higher niche. What's yours? I rolled a six. Yeah. Which is thirteen plus that one, fourteen. Oh, well, I got your parry that six. You wouldn't be parrying. I got a parrying weapon. Oh yeah. So we're equal because you got six plus eight yeah. is fourteen. Mm -hmm. I got weapon skill of seven plus one is eight plus six is fourteen. Um, I got the higher niche because we can't parry each other. So killed him. All right. So now your power. Well, that's a break test. Yeah. Uh, yep. Oh, he failed! That's alright. You're well, just shaking. Sense, 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 sense. You're just shaking, but it means you can't consolidate into someone else. Okay, you that. Right. right. So, I've got, oh, so you're plus two now. Right, so he's got two attacks of standard. Oh, actually, he'd have to take a break yeah, test as well. Do, now, do now. Yeah, he's fine. Right, right. so you've got <coughs> weapon skill of four, yeah. charging five, yeah. six, seven, eight, nine. You've got two attacks, nine. Yeah. Two, three, four, five, six. Six. Dogs. Six attacks. Weapon skill and I, so you're plus two on top of me now. Don't mess this up, sir. I'll give you a one as well. Oh, and you give me two ones. ones. Right, so I'll cancel that out and I'll have that one. Alright, so your weapon skill's nine. Plus six. Fifteen. Fifteen. I'm weapon skill seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen. You hit me once after all that. Didn't and he didn't win me either. No. Wow! How hard is he? Yeah, he's, he's, he's now looking at a load of um, he's now looking at a load of terminators with lightning claws and the captain. Wow! I did not expect to survive that. Right? Just didn't. Well, it's four, isn't it? It's, it's, that's a trouble because the cheapest weapon I can buy. It's a chainsaw. It's a chainsaw. 
And your strength four anyway. Which is what strength four anyway. It doesn't give you any bonuses in combat. Gives you the parry ability. Yeah, but if you didn't have the parry ability, you would have won that big time. But I could just take a normal power of sword and have the same thing. Oh, right, what I'm going to do is he's broken, but he's yeah. shaken. All right, so if you've got two broken counters, we know. Wow, psychic sensor. You watch your roll eye now. Oh, he rolled his. <laughs> oh, give me ultimate force and destroy demon. Oh, that's a problem. Someone's going to get that now, aren't they? Oh, that was nearly the pack as well. Right, so that's what I got. That's what I got. That's what I got. That's what I got. Yeah, so there we go. Right, as you go, sir. Um. I've got teleport, but I don't think I want to teleport. Because I could teleport into combat, but uh, it would be this turn. You could, but we'd class the charger for next turn. Yeah, so I think I'm going to stay. Not gonna, I'm not going to cast. There's no point. Right, okay. I'm going to try and attempt to cast uh, Mind War on your Psyker again. Oh, okay. So let's mm -hmm. see if I can get rid of that other power. I can't, um, you can reflect it or just do denomic attack me. So, are you doing pretty passive? Is this I one? haven't, no. no. Don't risk it. Well, I'm going to reflect it. Oh, you might. Okay, so that goes back. How many these? Um, these? Four. Go on then. You may hold on to this card to the. Six, eight. So the psychic power is automatically reflected 4d6 back, so I'm there. Yeah, go on. That's 12, 13. Uh, Straight back on me. Yeah. So, <clears throat> you're kind of mind war me, ready? Yeah, so it's just for it. Well, I'm basically mind war myself. Oh, right. So, I lose a random power. So, many times you got? Four. So, I've got one, two, three, and battle fight four. Four, battle fight, I've lost battle fight. All right. That's oh, it. didn't like that. Right, okay. Oh, not happy about that. All right then. So. <laughs> Don't mind war. Uh, I can't really guide anything. Can't be battle fight. Just... Can't lost battle fight. Oh yeah. Uh, what I will do then is I'm going to take a chance and cast two fool's cards, do executioner, and fight these two again. Because you, as uh, Rob said from Second Edition Wargaming, you've got to be in base-to-base -base contact. So thanks for that, Rob. What's that? <clears throat> Rob watched one of our games from Second Edition Wargaming. Yeah. And he said the Farseer is still treated as combat and he needs to be in base to base contact to attack more than one person. So oh, for every force card I use, I can make an attack. So I've expanded two force cards so I can attack twice. Oh, twice. And I'm classed as charging. Right, and you can't do anything else, can you? Uh, yeah, I've still got this lot. No, so you got mind, you can't do mind water. I can't do mind water, I've still got guide. Still got guide. Guide basically means I can get one of these guys to automatically shoot their weapon. Yeah, but you can't pick a target. Oh, you can pick a target, can I can pick a target yeah. Yeah, you can, can't you? Ooh. But even though it's a shuriken catapult with a sustained fight, it only rules one shot. I'm going to try another fight. Yeah, I thought you might. Five plus with a reroll. With a reroll. Oh, scary times. Ah, oh, you did it as well. Get. Right, okay. So that's done, that's done. So all I've got left is guide. Um, I can't because I've got two nullifiers. Because that, oh no, I've got a full squad. Idiot. Yeah, so I'm going to guide. It's a range of 12. Do excuse me, sir, because I'm going to try and guide a melt again. Which will be him. Um, line of sight to uh, double the range, won't it? So I might as well go that way. 
So I'm going to do a line of sight metal gun into one of them. Alright. Automatic hit. Are you going to nullify it? No. Alright, automatic hit, choose to kill. Just a minus. Oh, oh no, it might not be. No, <laughs> failed a wound anyway. Idiot. Right, that's it. I'm, I'm spent. I've got one there, which is a retaining hand. Must be done. Right, that's a shame. I was hoping to do that, do that in. I could take that. So that's fine. Right, so we'll come back after my movement phase, turn three. I'm getting far too excited. Right, okay, so he's charging to them. Yeah, why not? They've moved across to shoot what isn't in combat. They've run up to there ready to melter whatever they can. They're out of range. They've run over there ready to bounce onto them because they're not affected by terrain or to come charging into there. The Banshees have gone to charge the far here. These two went into the minefield. Luckily, didn't do anything. These have run across here ready, defense in depth. These are just dead meat because they're going to try and shoot at them. These are run across to try and bring themselves into the game. I actually haven't moved them, so I'm going to run them down to there, sir. All right, ready to do some serious, deadly crossfire malarkey, because that's what the Eldar are like. I took a chance. The Wraith, the Dreadnought, was exactly 16 inches away. So he's charged into combat there. The Warwalkers run, and the uh, Vipers run behind. Because he's now got a clear line of sight down through here. <clears throat> so what I'm going to do, first of all, because I've lost battle fate, is I'm going to shoot at him. Right, right so, Sheraton Cannon, what's the range of that? It's got to be less than 20, surely. Oh, good. Right, yes. brilliant. Okay, so it's plus one to hit. I've lost the undersung Sheraton Catapult. Uh, so it's fours, target is threes, twos, twos to hit. Three hits. Oh, well, not three hits. All right, here we go. Oh, one hit. What do you need? Forced a wound, though. No, didn't oh, wound him. Survived. Yeah, that's pretty good. Okay, so that's done. Uh, four shuriken catapults into the Death Company. Death Company. Uh, that's three, three, three plus two plus one at short range. Two hits. Five. That's not bad. Uh, one, two, three saves at minus two. So the most I can do is kill one and wound one. Three saves. Three saves at minus two. Uh, two kill. Dead. Oh, one dead. One dead. Because there are two wounds of bees. Probably, I wonder if Space Marines should always... I always think they should have had two wounds. Yeah. They have now, yeah. But we don't play that. Right, so one, two, three, four, five. Two's to hit on them. There's a full house. Need this. Because they're dead. Oh, they are with that. Right, six hits, two jam counters. <laughs> oh my god. Six hits. Oh, one wow. wound! Minus two saves, sir. Oh, yeah, to be expected. Uh, right, that's terrible. <laughs> Combat, okay. <laughs> oh my god. Uh, him charging in there, he's got two attacks, extra weapon and fighting fury. Right, death company. You can't parry, but your weapon skill's five. Well, one attack, additional hand weapon. Well, one attack becomes two. Gives you frenzy. Two gives you three. Three attacks, but you can't parry. Ooh. Oh, weapon skill. Five. Oh, yeah, that's a five. Well, now six. Well, I'm still beating you by one. Uh, I'll have that one so that cancels that out. Right, now, the rules as follows. I'm gonna make you parry a six. Yeah. Right? Now you can you can keep that one, right? Yep. You still roll make, yeah. that just in case it becomes a one. No, so you got a six again, right? So you got weapon skill of five. Yep. So that's cancelling each other out. Weapon skill of five, six, plus six is twelve. I got weapon skill of six, charging seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. You hit me. Just the once. Just the once. Freeze. Very annoying. Oh, what's your toughness? Oh. Oh, four, right, so it's four, sir. Wounded. Ah, oh, took a wound. Uh, that's his conversion field, normal armor save. Saved it. Oh, hang on. That was a draw. Because I got distract, which means only one G roll become twos. So I actually hit you. Oh, right. Wounded you. So you take a wound if you fail. It's a power source, so six is to save. 
Oh, so you take a wound. Take a wound. Yeah, that's right, because that's why I went for a six pack distract. Right, so that was lucky. Okay, so that's that. We're still in combat. Ah, uh, here, right, Banshees. <clears throat> With the rules of the mask, Jason doesn't roll any dice. So I've got those two against him. So I've just got to beat his weapon skill, which is four. Mm. I'm charging, which is plus one to my weapon skill. Or is it a plus one modifier? I don't know. Banshee. Yeah, charging gives you plus one to your weapon skill bonus. So basically, I've got a weapon skill of five. So I've hit him. <clears throat> one attack, extra weapon. Right, so I've got weapon skill of five, and so how many maybe, more times? Yeah, whatever it is, is how many times. But you can still parry. Oh, can I? Yeah, yeah. Oh, right. It just means you don't roll any attack dice. Oh, I can parry, so it doesn't matter. Right, so I use Six times. seven times. Seven. Yeah, because I'm already plus one on. Oh, right, yeah. So that's with the power sword, needing threes to wound. So that's four saves on a six. Three to wound. Yeah, because it's strength five. They're not Banshees oh, yeah, from 3rd yeah. edition yeah. where they got epoxy strength for 3, so they got power strength. No, you got minus 3, oh, minus, right. minus 3 save. 4. Want to save the 6? Yeah. Now he's dead. So that's him gone. And then I got 3 against him, so the first one. 3 attacks. Uh, yeah, 2 attacks. Ooh, you got a 1. Seven. Can't power yet. So I've got a weapon skill of... Four, charge of five, six, seven. You are weapon skill of four, five, five, two hits. Two saves. Dead. Right, so. <coughs> a two inch follow up is as follows. He will go back he to. Do, he was in combat. I'll be a young fool. Doesn't matter. Yeah, it does. You don't have to report to me. I haven't? Yeah, if I because I didn't actually fight, I couldn't do nothing. Let me check. Yeah, well technically the Farseer didn't fight, so they don't get to move. So these have created a screen for the Farseer. So the terminators when they charge it will munch all this lot, giving the Farseer time to possibly get away. Right, so dreadnought against dreadnought. Right, I have a weapon skill of six. Same here. Three attacks. Three attacks. So it's the only issue I've got is... You've got two practice, yeah? Three attacks. I think it's taken into account. Oh, okay. Two arms through the power fist. I don't know. Three attacks. I suppose that's your weapon four. We'll take it. I don't know. I don't know. I would do it. I would do it if you had two... Well, yeah, because I've got three attacks and I've got... I would only have one power fist. Yeah, so, oh, okay. Yeah. Yeah, because I've paid the extra points to keep the power fist, so... Yeah. All right, if we're wrong, let us know. So the only advantage I've got here is... An extra attack. Extra attack. Yeah. Uh, no, plus one for charging. Oh, yeah. Ooh, let's cancel that out. Ooh, that's yeah. nice. So I've got a weapon skill of six, charging seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. You've got a weapon skill seven. Uh, seven, eight, eight nine, nine, ten. ten. You've got right. two hits. Two hits. Oh, my God. Well, I'm going to go big and go for the body. So it's... You're going for the body? <laughs> yeah. Right, the body is 22. 22. Strength 8, plus D20, plus D6, plus 8. 20 what? 22. Well, there's 18. Yeah, that's right. 1. Oh, that's 2. 2, two penetrating nits. On the body, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. A 4 and a 3, both yep. the same. The, dread, the Dreadnought's engine bursts into flame and the machine is immobilized. The pilot may use may use emergency controls to fire one weapon, roll a D6 at the beginning of each player turn. The machine the, the machine explodes on a roll of a one or two. Any Ooh. models with three inches suffer a strength ten hit oh, with a minus nasty. three modus. So you're immobilized? Um, um immobilized, yeah. But you can still fight. You can still fight. Right. Oh my god, one or two, you blow up. Yeah. So it means you can't shoot, that's fine. That's mm, okay. Oh, never mind. Right, psychic, sir. Oh, you still fight, eh? You can, you're in combat. Oh, yeah, in combat, yeah. yeah. Right, so, psychics. Nine. One, two, three. 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 Oh, 
god. Three, uh, one, four, five, six, seven, eight. eight. That's right, you should finish nine. on me. Nine. Oh, that's a bit of a bad shout. Right, okay, let's try this then. I'm going to psychic duel your librarian. Uh, the psychic duel the engage in the psychic room. Roll d6 and add the mastery level of the respected psychos to the roll. If you can see that. Uh, the player with the highest roll wins and drives the psychic power out of the mind of the loser. Ooh. There we go. What's that? Roll d6 and add your mastery level. Oh, you can double attack. Oh. Uh, you can. Why not? Because I'm not actually playing any psychic. You may use this card when an enemy psychic can use the psychic power to do. It's a special card, it's not a power. Oh, right. So okay. You've got to hold on. Wait until I cast something. Oh. So, psychic duel. What do I do? Uh, roll d6 and add your mastery level. So I've got eight. You got eight. You lucky bugger. <sighs> the player with the highest wins. So, it's, yeah, so that's it. Right, you'll go. Um, so you can teleport if you want. Yeah, we're going to actually. Teleport into combat. Okay. Right, okay. So I shall try and nullify that. I mean, I'll do anything else. Oh, finally! Nullified it. Right, so... I shall try and executioner and attack. Uh, hang on. I'm going to try and attempt to attack your psyker with executioner. Ooh. Range of 18. Range. I'll do dynamic attack then. Right, so that nullifies it. Uh, Right, the psych uh, fights off the right, so... One, one, plus my mastery level of four becomes a five. Minus the psychic power, which is one, becomes a four. A four. Becomes a four? Yep, becomes, fights off a demon. Yeah. So that's fine. You stay there. Yeah, but you nullified it. Right, yep. you'll go. I can't, yeah, I can't do anything, mate. Right, in that case then, I'll attempt to mind war your psyche. And I'll try and nullify it. Okay, five or six. Oh, he does it as well. He's a, he's a words, words cannot express how I feel. Right, I've got that. Because you're not going to cast teleportation. Oh, I've nullified it. Are you done? What's that? What are you doing? Well, I've got nullify left. Oh, right. And you've tried to cast teleportation. I've nullified it. Yeah. So I can't nullify anything else. You've only got that power left. So you're not casting anything else? No. Okay. That's wrong. All right, cool. I love how KG Jace is with the cards. Oh, he's got a retaining hand. So that's the end of my turn three. So Jason's last turn, turn four. Yeah. This is gonna get very, very bloody now. Last turn, Woo Right, Jace, what you done? Right, the Death Company charged in. Yep, so keeping score coherency. Yeah. You got four against three there. They're gonna break and run. Actually, I could, what I could do is just do that, and then just, because that one- That one couldn't make it. Yeah, yeah, just do that. Yeah, yeah. There you go. So you got three attacks together. That's fine. Yeah. They yeah. got in. Right, yeah. you'll love this. They all ran through the minefield by the captain. Oh, I rolled through him. No. Right. I got two of them, and I rolled two ones to wound on a strength of six. Yeah. So yeah, they're dead, me. Uh, and then the sneaky git played reinforcements and had a whole new ten man jump pack assault squad jump in. Uh, they done. We done all the scattering off camera because it's a pain. But with the four inch follow up. Those four got into that, so he's dead meat. Can't target the skimmer because it's flying fat. Uh, combat speed is too high, and it's a skimmer. And then they're trying to save the dreadnought from the Eldor dreadnought. Well, actually, what I will do, I'll just move him as well. What's that? My, um... Why? You can't repair. Huh? Keep him in there to repair the last gun. Why? Can't do nothing. Oh, you... Yeah, but can't you repair... Oh, one or two, it blows up. Oh, yeah. Because he... Yeah, can't... Yeah, one or two, it blows up. Oh, that'd be funny. Move, yeah. So, yeah. boom. Now, technically, sir, that happens at the beginning of your turn, doesn't it? 
Uh, because if it happens at the beginning of your turn, number, number four. On board, you want it? Yeah. Because if it happens at the beginning of the turn, I would say that happens before you jump in. I roll a d6 at the beginning of each player's turn. The yep. machine explodes, yeah. Yeah, so right. Before I jumped in then. Yeah, that's fine. So what I'm going to have to do is I take uh, somebody's strength. You take a... Um, at the beginning of the each player's turn, she exposed on one, one, two. Any model with three inches suffer D six. Yep. Strength ten hits. Right there you go then. So, not being funny, it's strength ten plus D six damage. Yeah. You cannot hurt the Wraith Lord at all. No, because the max you can get is sixteen. Right. Because it's not D six damage; it's just D six strength ten hits. Oh yeah. Your Chap, your tech marine on the other hand will take d6 hits. That. What's that? If you do it at the beginning of the turn, yeah. you will be destroyed. I could have brought, brought him back with the reinforcement set of the jump packers. Uh, oh, no, 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 you don't think you. Well, hang on, hang on, hang on. We're, we're grown men. <clears throat> okay, the reason we. Well, we paused it, you wouldn't notice that. Uh, Jace had reinforcements, but. The explosion happens at the beginning of the turn. Reinforcements happens at the start of the movement phase. So what Jason was toying with is actually bringing the dreadnought back on over there. And he had the slightest, slimmest line of shot down to him. But the Banshee is actually in the way. Yeah, so I can't actually see him. So you can't see him. No. So that's what, we, that's what we've decided to do. Um, it's a bit nasty here. That's nasty. That's still going ahead. Uh, shooting? You haven't got any. Oh, yes, I have. No. A librarian. Oh, right, okay. It's a bolt pistol. Oh, that was... Right, so is that short range? Yes, it is. Oh, Plus okay. two, minus uh, one, so... Um, it'll be twos. Twos. Yeah, yeah, That's yeah. a hit. Location? A two. <clears throat> On the front? Oh, crew. Should be the pilot. Yeah, brilliant. Um, uh, free to win. No, oh, oh. that was so good. Yeah, cracked his canopy though. He's like, oh, holy crap, that was close. <laughs> or whatever the elder would say. Gosh, that bent in the wind. <laughs> right, so nasty. Close combat then. There is yeah. hard. That was a shooting phase. Where are you going to start, man? This is going to be oh. bloody as hell. We'll start over here with Death Company. All right, here we go. <laughs> so, <laughs> we have. What are you doing? This. Yeah, uh, that first. Yeah. Yeah. Right. One attack. Oh, you, you can't parry because you're frenzied. Right, so I've so got two attacks. Uh, one one attack, attack, frenzy two, two extra weapon. Extra weapon, and I'm charging, so that gives me a weapon skill of six. six. So I've got, I've got seven at the moment. Oh, there you go. Seven. Uh, uh, you've got a weapon skill of what? Six? Seven? Three, three hits. Yeah. Strength four? four. Threes to wound. Two. Two saves. Need a miracle here, two sixes. Nope, that's one dead. That's quarter of the unit because there's only four left. They hold. So they're right. gonna hold. So next one, one on one. Got a five, so I've got eight. You got a weapon skill of five, okay. charging six, ten against eight, uh, two hits. Two. One save. Didn't save, dead. We're already taking the break test. You can't attack him. This one, one on one. Come on. Six, nice. Oh, oh. nice. So I've got nine, ten. Oh god, I'm dusty. What am I doing? Damn it. So you got you got uh five six, six nine. Oh, you, you nine. want? Yeah, nine. Oh, I didn't wound you. Yeah, fear me. Right. So now, because you fought, you can move two inches. Well, you got to your frenzy. Yeah, I'm going to him. Right. <laughs> I'm assuming one of these two is yeah. going first. Well, he didn't charge. No, so go in first. You're going to go in first, right? Yeah. Right. Okay. So I've got four attacks. Don't forget, I double your fumbles. Nice, I've got 12. So I've got two attacks, basically. Yeah. And like three. Uh, yeah, because you're frenzied. Oh. Right, so that one is two mm. for me. So I've got 12, 13, 14. I've got 11. 12, 13. 11, 12, 13. Oh, oh no, 11, sorry, 11. 11. 11. Yeah, 12, 13, 14. That's right, three is. <gasps> no wounds. Oh, good. Right. Wow, that was... Uh, Absolutely rubbish thing. Right, yeah. so who's next? The charging dude? Yeah. Got dice. Oh, nice. Right, so I've got a weapon skill of six. Uh, you've got a weapon skill of five, charging six, six. extra seven. 
one and dice extra die. Uh, yeah. Yeah. Four no, dice. Oh, sorry. Yeah, four dice. So you're plus one on top of me. <clears throat> okay. So you've got seven, thirteen. I've got twelve, thirteen. You can't parry, but I can. So I'm going to parry that six. Oh, there you go. Let's do it. You once wounded you. Six to save. Nope. No. Dead. So that name wound. Oh yeah, yeah, that's right, because they got two wounds each. And now the chaplain's going to absolutely mullet me. Right. You can't uh, parry though, can you? The chaplain. You've only got a cruelty as a curve. Yeah, but he can parry. He can't parry, no. But he's got, weapon, he's got a high weapon skill and he's got bonuses. He's got a weapon skill of bot five, because he's a level one chaplain. Find him, if you can find him. I'm sure it's weapon skill five, charging six, extra man seven. Right, he's got one attack. Disarmed weapon. Five. What's his weapon skill? Five. Right, five, charging six, seven, eight. He's got a weapon skill of eight. Right. He's, he's not frenzied though, is he? No, no, he's the one who keeps him in trouble. So he's got one attack. Yeah. Extra weapon. That's it. Then a two for the extra man. Then a two for the extra man. Yeah. So you're, you're two above on me now. If I go for that, I'll roll a six. Right, I'll parry the six. Now you can keep a four unless that rolls better. Ugh. What a jammy, jammy, jammy get. Right, okay, so I rolled a six, thankfully, which is there, which gives me 12. And I got... You were weapon skill five, five charging six, six seven, seven eight. eight. Plus Four, that is 14, 14, so you hit me twice. Right, now, Crozier, so I don't know why it's... Strength five. Is it? Strength five minus three, I think. Won it. Strength five. Saved it. Wow! Out that off. Mm. That was quite good. Now it's going to get really nasty because the banshees are only any good if they charge. So, yeah. shall we do him first? Yep. How many attacks you got? He's a terminator, so he one attack, this one hand weapon. So that'll be two attacks. Two attacks. But you can parry twice, right? Yeah. <laughs> right, okay, so I can't parry, so you're in base contact with two here. Yep. So the first one. Rolls a mighty two, so I've got a weapon skill of six, which is what you are now. No, no weapon skill. Your weapon skill five anyway. Yeah. So your weapon skill six, so whatever you roll. <laughs> six, seven, eight. Oh, I'll just take him off, mate. All right. Right. Right, next one, extra man. Oh, there you go, you're gonna make him parry that anyway. Aren't you? I've got a six, so that's 12. Uh, six, uh, 12. Yeah, 12. have you? Yeah, yes. you're charging, you're weapon skill 5, charging 6, plus 6 is 12. Yeah. I'm weapon skill 4, 10, extra man 11, so you hit me once. And he failed oh. to wound. Yeah, I should have done they that. Straight, they No. You should have made me parry that. Well, You should have made me parry the 6. Yeah, but I've got, have I got straight? No. No, they got that. I think they got That's an addition, that's mm. definitely an addition. So they got straight then? Well, you just get extra attacks and get the parry twice. Oh, okay. So, that, I've held, held you on. That's all right. So, I, I, he's stuck in combat, but yeah, these yeah. three aren't. Right, Banshees, now we can parry each other. So, your weapon skill's six, so you're two on me already. Right. Oh, so it's two hits. Two's to kill. One. Because it's minus God knows how many, isn't it? Yeah. Dead. Right. Uh, oh god no, you won on me already, so that's, that's uh, two hits because you get the bonus there. Oh no, three hits, sorry, extra okay. dice. Right. Oh, dead. Right, and that's it. No, I've got those two, I've just sort of Right, well as you move, you're going to set off the minefield. Yeah. So, <coughs> what, these three? Yeah. So where's he going? Uh, he has to go towards the expansion, isn't he? Yeah. 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 Oh, you didn't fight? No, you didn't fight, so you can't do anything. Right, so those two... Nope. God, that minefield is duds. And the guy you fought killed your... Oh, yeah, what He's you just in base yeah. contact, so that's it. Uh, I've lost. They're fine. Right, so, War Walker. Yep. This is going to be quick, because uh, it's against my crew. I've got weapon skill, I've got two attacks. Doesn't matter. Oh, you can make me parry. We'll see what you get. Uh, right, I've got two attacks. Yep. Five plus four, ten. Yeah, so your weapon's got a four, charging five, ten against my seven. 
So it's three. Three hits against the crew. But you get to save it, yeah? Uh, not in combat, I don't. Oh, right. Oh, right. oh, yeah, deadly. There you go. Two saves on a six. No, he's dead. So that's going to move out of control. Next turn. Um, find one, typical. All right, well, uh, I thought they did have one out of control, can't we? Yeah, it's all right. We'll worry about it. All right, well, we know I'll put flame on it just to remind us he's dead. Right, okay, we're finding out. That doesn't matter. Right, so now we'll get to Dreadnought. Let's start with this one. All right, you can parry, I can't. So you got points for that, by the way. Oh, yeah. yeah, that's the problem. Because that card was beautifully played, sir. Right, okay, so. I've got five, which you can parry. Hang on, let's see what we get through. What's your web skill? Six. So I've got 11 at the moment. Minus five. Yeah. Five. Ooh. Yeah. I'll so make you parry that five. Thought you might. Oh. Five. Right, so I've got 11 with that 12. What have you got? I've got uh, nine. 10, 11, 12, two to kill. Oh, she's dead. See, I imagine that from the Dawn of War game where he just picks him up and throws yeah. him. Right, one. okay, we're equal now. So that's. I'll make you parry the five. Thought you might. Two. So now you're beaten by three. Yeah, but I can't. You, you can't, can't hurt me. Right. Now, it's the next one. Yep, yeah, so. We're all just building up to the power phase now. So you're plus one on me now. Yeah, it's just four dice. Yeah. Ooh, oh, not with that, you won't. Guess you're going to make me parry that. Well, I've done one. He's got two fours, isn't he? I still got to roll it. It might become a oh, one. Man. Yeah, so two. So I can ignore that. I'll go to the four. So that's nasty. So I've got 10, 11, 12, 13. What have you got? I've got uh, four, five, six, seven, eight. Nine, 10, 11, 12, 13. Five hits. Yeah, he's dead. Uh, that's not enough for a break test. Nope, we need two. Now it's the uh, next one. Next one. This got to be the power fist next, isn't it? Uh, done one, two, two. Uh, one, Yeah, two. yeah, because you hit me the first time. You won the first one. Yes, yeah, but after this one, after this one, it's a power fist. Power fist, right. Alright, so that's three. Alright, I've got a bunch of... It doesn't four, matter. Five, six, seven, seven. I've got nine, so as long as you roll two or more, as long as you don't fluff it with the ones again. Uh, don't you think? Yeah, you won. So that's it. Right, power fist time. Right. So basically, you've got a weapon skill of four, charging five, six, seven, eight, eight. nine, ten. No, you don't count. Four, charging five, six, seven, eight, eight nine. nine. You've got a weapon skill of nine. Well, you can parry. you got one attack, extra weapon, weapon, two, three, four, five, six dice against my three, weapon skill of nine, and I've rolled a four. Oh, lots of hits. Right, we've got to work this out because this will be well, punching. Well, the one will cancel that six. Six one out. So I've got... What You've got 15 nine, against my eight. 10. You've got five hits. The lowest location you can do is 18. So you're rolling D20 plus D6 and that plus your strength of eight because there's no damage on this. Yeah. So what are you going to go for? Legs or uh, don't go for the head because it'll be 22. It'll be the legs, won't it? Legs, 18. Yeah. Right, so five times, so one, two, three, four, five. First row. Uh, 18. That'll do. That's one. Yeah. Next one. That'll do. Next one. No. Uh, nope. Next one. That's yeah, that'll do. Yeah. Next one. Uh, uh, yeah, that'll do. 15, oh, yeah. yeah. That's 15 straight away with the eight and out. Oh, so yeah. that's four rows on the legs, sir. Oh my god! Oh my god, that's two, terrible. Two, four, three. Right, two, two. The dreadnought is not spalling. It staggers D three in a random direction, colliding with anything. And the three or four, the leg is seriously damaged. The dreadnought may only live one D three per turn. So you've knocked it sprawling out of the combat. Oh dear, hang on. At least he's damaged. Yeah, he's damaged. So he he staggered that way, stomped on one of the marines as he. Turned around and staggered everywhere, and then he's just folded up. Go for the legs and make you fall Yeah, yeah, it? definitely. Yeah. Well, you, not me, really, with that many dice rolls, a five or a six, you would have blown the leg off. Yeah. You were just so unlucky there. 
So now in my phase, I can I can move D3 out, so I'm going to come out of combat. Are you staggered, are you? No, 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 that's it. I just moved D3 now. I oh, can only it? limp D3 inches. Yeah, right. Instead of eight. Right, that's it. Psychics. Whew! That was a hard, hard round. Oh, and he's rolled nine for the nine. psychics as well. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. <coughs> right. Okay, I've got that. And what else have I got? Ooh, not bad. Right then, sir, it's your go. So you've got teleportation. Well, I don't know, I'm gonna I'm gonna try and nullify that. This is all you got anyway. Ah, do you know what? I'm gonna use my seer rooms. I'm gonna automatically nullify it. Fair enough. <laughs> right, okay. God damn it. Right, I'm gonna try a mind warrior. Yeah. Oh right, good. okay. So for all this, you lose your teleportation. Yeah. Lost your teleportation. Lost your teleportation. Okay, that's fine. And what else have we got? Oh, do you know what? I want to attempt to at executioner you as well. Well, you're my psyche then. Ah, oh, I had that on pause. <laughs> right, guys, sorry. The psychic phase was. Oh no. Farseer managed to get rid of a psychic power with Mind War, and then I executioned over there and killed the Psyker, which completed my mission, which, oddly enough, was Witch Hunt as well. I then cast Guide on him to shoot a Shuriken Catapult into there. Didn't do anything. So that's it. That's the end of the Psychic Phase and the end of Jason's Turn 4. So, my Psychic's going to survive. This is really bloody because my Banshees now are going to go in and finish that Death Company. Or I might charge into the Terminators. That'd be a laugh. Nah, finish the Death Company. That's what I bought them for. <laughs> right, my last turn. So the Harlequins, because they can ignore terrain and belt flip and all that sort of stuff, they've jumped over there to take out the Death Company. Uh, oddly enough, with a, even with a 12-inch move, I couldn't get to these two. So the Dire Avenger is going to have to take them on himself. That one wound there is for that one. He's got a wound, so I'm going to attack him. Oh, he, they're dead anyway. They're kind of dead anyway. Fire Dragons have moved up here. The only thing they can see is him. Even though he's part of the squad, he'll be the first man removed. As it happens, that's the Terminator Captain. These have created a protective barrier just in case it went on another turn, but we're not. I've actually kept the Dreadnought in combat because I'm going to target the Power Fist first. They're there. The War Walker's crashed into that. Those four are going to shoot at them. That one there can't shoot. That's why he's turned the wrong way. And this has come around to shoot at the Terminators, but as it happens, it's him. But what I'm going to do is the Fire Dragons first. Three shots in it. Uh, depends. Got to, got to range it. Uh, yeah. Oh, that's, no, it's that's three shots. Three shots, threes to hit. Two hits, twos to wound. One wound, minus four save, sir. What have you got? I've got a four, four, field, four, you? four, four, four plus. Oh. Nope, so it's 2d6, uh, it's three, nine. No, seven. Yeah, you're fine. There you go, he's like, oh, whoa, what's going on there? Right, so. Sure can catapult, sure can cannon into him. Hits. So it's all gonna be on him, isn't it? Yeah. Oh, only two hits. Three's to wound. Two saves. Minus two. So you pass that one. Pass that one. What'd you expect? Right, those four. Uh, is that 12? Probably not. Can you just arrange that for me, sir? Yes, that will do. All right, so uh, three to it. Oh, nice. Come on, guys. Oh, that's nice. Seven hits. Oh, look at that. Two saves on a five plus. No, two, two dead. It's not enough for a break test, though. Is it? Uh, oh, yeah, seven. You maybe take a break on two. One, two, three, four, five, six, six seven, seven, yeah. Nah, they're fine. Because they would still, even though the reinforcements, yeah, I would yeah. still say them that they'd get yeah. divine inspiration. That's it. 
Oh, shooting. These three, uh, these two are going to shoot at that. Choose to hit. Yeah. Because don't forget, guys, unless you're in base to base contact, you're not in combat. Three shots, two saves at minus two. Yeah, he's for the roll of 10. Oh, yeah, it's fine. Right, Term I'll tell you what, I was only thinking the other day how scary Terminators are again in second edition, because they're not in other editions. Yeah, you get a four plus save, you get two plus save, but with the modifiers and that now, you can drop them quite easy. Yeah, they got loads of wounds, but there's nothing scarier than Terminators in this game. I don't know, it's, it's got... Mate, you've just shrugged off oh, yeah, battle guns. But in, it's all heavy weapons. You've got to use special weapons against Terminators, isn't it? Yeah. Right, this is going to take ages. Combat. Right. Let's Do start with the Dreadnought, because that's the easiest one. Three attacks against your power first guy. Weapon skill of six. Cock dice, needed that. Oh, and you get the parry. Oh, yeah, you get the parry. Yeah, right. So I've got, got 10 at the moment. Oh, nice. I'll parry the four. That's all right. I'll, I'll roll that. That's a five. So that's 11. Because you rolled a one anyway. So that's 11 against your what? Uh, against my six. Oh, he's yeah. dead. Right. Okay. Uh, you've already taken the break test yeah. then. So then against your other guy. You can parry the five, obviously. I'll parry the five. All right, so. Yeah, that's yeah. one for you, but so I've got four, I've got 10. I've got 10. Uh, mine is higher. Yes, yeah, I've got 10. Mine is six. Yeah, Killed him. Right, and then my two inch would do that. Right, okay. Banshees, well, the one that charged, what's your weapon skill? Uh, five. Right, you can still power, you just can't roll any dice. So I'll get one attack, extra weapon, two dice. Oh, right, so I got five, six, seven. Seven? I've got five, six. six. One it. No, oh uh, yeah, no, no wounds, because your toughness is four, isn't it? Yeah. Right, second bar, G. I can't, can't attack No, because you're still affected by the Banshee Mask. So, she's got three attacks. That's better. She's plus one for being the extra girl. Uh, so she's got weapon skill of five, which is the same as you. You can still parry. Oh, parry six, yeah. I thought you might. Yeah, so I've got five. So, we're the same, aren't we? Yeah. No, you don't. Your weapon skill of five. Five. I'm five. Yeah, so I hit you five times. Oh, and I didn't wound you once! Wow! Right. Yeah, right. This one, standard fight. We can both parry. Oh, no, you couldn't have parried me. Because huh? we can both parry, so it doesn't matter. Uh, right, so I've got five. Right, I'm weapon skill. Yeah, You're beating me by one at the moment. Yeah? Yeah, because you've got a weapon skill of five naturally. I've got a weapon skill of four. Mate, the Terminators. Yeah, five. Your veteran profile. Uh, two attacks. Yeah, so you beat me, you hit me twice. Two to kill. There you go, she's yeah. dead. Break test for them. They're all right. Right, this poor lad here. Five. Ooh, nice. Uh, so I that. Might carry that. I thought you might. Six. <laughs> <laughs> so weapon so skill of four, plus yeah, your nine. fumble, five, plus that is 11. What'd you yeah. get? Nine. Nine. Ten, eleven. Five's the wound. Now, there we go. <laughs> right. Oh. Oh my god. Well, we're starting. Right, I want to start with the Exarch against your chaplain. Right, so I get two attacks. Okay, so I've got a weapon skill of eleven total. Uh, you can't parry, oh. but I'll let you keep that. So I've got eleven. What you got? Nine. 10, 11, two hits, three to win, four to win. Your toughness, no, your toughness four, aren't you? Toughness four. Two saves. Sure. You got conversion field on a four plus. Yeah, toughness four. All right, conversion field on a four plus. Two of them? Yep. Then you One. got your armor save on a six. Two, six. No. Nope, Ten. so he's dead. So they, they go, go absolutely nuts. nuts. That's fine. Right, so it means you're against him. 
Then attack. you get extra. Uh, yeah, yeah, three attacks. So you got two attacks. Yeah, one attack, just my weapon frenzy. And the extra man, four. Oh, two ones. Oh, look at that. Right, well, I'm going to parry one of them. No, right, so. This is going to hurt. So I've got a weapon skill at 6, 12. You've got... 6. You've got 5, 6, 12, 13, 14, 15. You've got 3 hits on me. This is great. What's your toughness? 4. 4, so four, four. four. four so Oh, look at that. Right, conversion field. Same. I know. Yep, and then armor save. Saved it. Yeah. Right, so not being funny, he was already in combat with him before yeah. I did them. So this will be weapon skill of five, six, seven, and you're getting one frenzy, two, three, four. Extra weapon five. Right, six. Right, that one becomes two hits for me because of my distract. Oh, what was it? Five. You got five. you got five. Six, seven, seven, you got 11. I've got six, 12, 13, 14. So that's three hits on you. So, two wounds. Minus? Uh, minus six. Oh, minus three. Okay, so yeah. that's dead. So he's probably dead. Oh, he had only one wound anyway, so he's going to be dead. So he's going to be dead at the end of the game anyway. Right, we're going to pause this because anybody in combat with a Harlequin has to take a leadership test to try and hit us. And if you fail it, you're minus one in your weapon skill. Right. Okay, after all that, those two are a bit confused and they're minus one to attack or minus one weapon skill against that lot. So, chainsword first. I have, oh, I don't know. <clears throat> okay, so two attacks. Because you've got one attack, extra weapon two. Weapon skill's the same, but because I'm charging it, I'm plus one to this. I can parry, you can't. Okay, that's good. Oh, that's even better. So I'm going to parry the six. Oh, even better. So that's uh, five, charging six, 12, 13, 14, against your weapon skill of five. Five, six, six seven. seven. Seven hits. With a chainsword, that's five saves at minus one. Oh, we did it. Did take a wound. wound. So that's your wound, so he's going to be dead anyway. Yeah. So I've got three attacks now, and I'm weapon skill, five, charging six, seven. So I'm two above you already. And I've got that, so I've got quite a lot. Power the six. Keep the four. So you've got weapon skill of five, nine. nine. I'm on five, six, seven, thirteen. Four, it's with a power sword. Three saves in the six. No. He's dead. Well, I think that's just how this is going to go. Do you want to do this off camera? Yeah, might as well. Right, sorry, sorry guys. What, what, I'll tell you what we'll do. We'll save it for here. Right, sorry guys. I know we normally film it, but that was a mashup. Um, so what happened in the end is the Great Harlequin never even got the fight because I managed to kill them. The Guardians here stayed, didn't break. <laughs> And he's going to die at the end of the game because he's got a wound on him. So the Harlequins have wiped out the Death Company, which is what I bought them for. So they could swing around here and that'll be a fight and a half for the ages. Uh, just psychic powers left. There's only one dice. Five. So it'll be three for me. Two for you, sir. One, two, three, four, five. <clears throat> Well, I ain't playing that one. <laughs> okay, I'm going to... Take a chance and do Mind War. Full on. Against your commander. Um, try another point. Five or six. Oh, he does as well! <laughs> and that ends the game. I didn't get the chat. I didn't get the chance to play my last strategy, which was last gasp, which means oh, I could have done a shot or something like that. Well done, sir. We're taught up the points. Bloody, bloody, okay. bloody game, up. A bloody match. Sorry about the last. Um, if you're still here watching, 
So over the last combat round with the Harlequins, it was just like, it's late for us. Our minds were fried and having to do massive yeah. video at the same time. So you normally, we normally do the combat in, but that was just mind blowing. It, it was a pretty <laughs> obvious Oh, it's brutal. Really, I mean, so. they, they got wiped out to a man, yeah. basically, the Harlequins. And then there was a man left, but he died afterwards. He, he succumbed to his wounds. Yeah. Uh, so sadly, the final victory points were, bit of a sliding show here, seven oh. to the Flesh Terrors, 25 to the Eldar. Yeah. 20, I got 20 points purely on killing stuff and an extra five for um, my mission. Mm. And I got what? I got two for him anyway or three for him anyway? Uh, I think I got two, two for him anyway. Yeah. yeah. That was brutal. That was, you had a scary army, but what was nice for a change is normally when we do these games, I'm the one always having to come forward. Yes. Like if I got my orcs, you imagine if that was orcs, and I had taken old. Oh, oh that would have been ugly as sin. Oh, it'd be funny. Oh, yeah, you would have mugged me, man. Oh, I don't know. Uh, yeah. Why? Yeah, with what I got at the moment, you would have. He got stepping with one to come back. He got sort of, yeah. <laughs> On your turns as well. Mm. So I had to play a, a, a game of defense in depth. I was prepared to sacrifice the Guardians and the Dire Avengers. To bring you a range of the metal guns, but when I did fire the metal guns, I had them back too much. But when yeah. I did fail to fire the metal guns, you just shrugged them off. <laughs> so I was like, ooh. Uh, Harder Quins are held back. Um, so I should do stuff like sacrifice them, just from forward, just for a laugh, make it entertaining. But I had the Harder Quins back too long. I've always done that. A bit yeah. stupid like that. I was thought that I've got around to hope for just moving coming forwards. I thought, man, I've just got to move forwards. That's the only reason I took the Dreadnought. With the heavy weapons, so if I need so I can move forwards. Yeah, but then putting quickly on there was nasty. And in the end, it was like, yeah, uh, do you know what? I'm going to use a seer runes to cancel your teleportation because I didn't want you going anywhere because I had plans to shoot him up. I was going to charge him. Yeah, I know. You probably would have killed me, but yeah. I would have well. I only just done it with Executioner. Yeah, true. So, yeah, good game. Good game. Yeah, Bloody game. Talk. Uh, so thank you, uh, Andy Chambers, for selecting the forces or for selecting the codexes in a sense. Uh, if you watched it, I hope you enjoyed it. Uh, again, thanks very much for the interview. Uh, we'll get you again, maybe. <laughs> uh, if you're anybody watching still, fantastic. As usual, if you've done something wrong or we've played a rule wrong, put it in the comments. Because uh, it's the only way we're going to improve. There's nothing worse. And we've said this time and again. If you're watching a game and something does it wrong, it's so frustrating. So um, let us know. Brilliant. Thanks, everybody. Thanks for that. Uh, What's uh, next? Uh, bolt action. Is it? Yeah. Is it? No, mm -hmm. no, because we've done one page rules last week. Did we? Yeah, because we've done my nids against your... Uh, I don't know. We'll have to look. Yeah, I'm sure we've done nids against someone. I don't think we have. Yeah. You, you, you hurt me bad. God? No, it wasn't God. It was Nids against, it wasn't Orcs, it was Nids against Chaos. Chaos. That was it. Yeah. Don't even watch your own reports. Right. Okay. Thank you, guys. Thanks Catch you later. Guys.